Hello class, this is Dr. Garrett Castleberry here, and I wanted to take a minute to demonstrate a second way that we can produce video content for not only this course that we share currently, but also any future courses that you are enrolled in. And so I've talked about in the past uh, uh, my preferred mechanism, which is to seamlessly upload my video content to YouTube uh, and then simply uh, have it as a base that can be embedded into D2L. Uh, I think an efficient reason for that is, is, is it doesn't require any file sharing after the point in which um, it's, it's uploaded to YouTube. And I can also choose if it's public, private, or can be shared only through a link. But I want to talk to you about another method or mechanism that we have uh, the ability to use. And I think some of you have already found it. Others uh, would benefit from, from knowing it exists. And it's definitely going to, um, going to be a very helpful tool. So let me, I've started us off in the special topics main page, the course home. But where we want to go uh, for this purpose is under the communication tab in the, in the middle. And go down to our discussion section. All right, the discussion section is where we're lo uh, uploading our weekly vlogs. We have four vlog posts, which is a video blog. Uh, it's our it's our feedback that we're giving uh, for the first four weeks of the course. Um, and an opportunity to kind of expand our ideas. So I'm just going to go into that week one discussion. I'm gonna go in here and if I were a student, I'd probably start a new thread. And so I've clicked start a new thread. And then down here, I have some various options. Again, I showed this part in class previously. I could insert a link and that's where I would bring in and paste a, my YouTube link to embed videos so that they're easy to access and, and view. Um, however, uh, let me click out of this real quick. Uh, however, I want to show you all an internal way that you can also produce videos. And this is going to be super handy. It's going to show up in here as an original post. Let's say video post, right? Giving it a quick title, but notice I'm scrolling down. Okay. Underneath this text box where you normally would just type things, there is add attachments. Now, once you click it to uh, open up these, uh, to reveal these options, you could upload a file here. It's just another way to upload a file. Some of you have uploaded files. Choose something existing. Let's ignore that for the moment because it's probably things in D12, but here's what I want to show us. Here's the, this is, this is the culmination of our purpose. So I created my own discussion thread. Underneath the text box, I clicked to see attachment options right here. Record is a, is a tab and it says record video. I'm gonna click on record video and check this out. This, uh, this pop-up window occurred where I can create um, my own video up to 30 minutes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and, and click you know, my internal, my computer's pop-up window says D2L wants to use your microphone, use your camera. I'm going to click allow. And then it says, well, Google Chrome, the browser I'm using, would like to access that. And I will say, okay, because I need to do it. So we might see something weird here uh, because I've got the camera mounted, but we're going to do it anyway, right? Because this is all about creating a video. I'm gonna click OK. Should get a pop up. Hey yo, there we are. How's it going, everybody? Here I am, and uh, now it's showing me my laptop's webcam. And so let me go from here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna start a recording. Looks like I'm going. So here I'm here to talk about uh, the latest piece of media that I'm studying. And uh, uh, my goal is to create a conversation uh, and respond to that media and um, share my thoughts. And I'm going to do that and then I'm going to finish. Let's Hit. start a recording.
looks like I'm going. So here, I'm here to talk about uh, the latest piece of media that I'm studying. And uh, uh, my goal is to create a conversation uh, and respond to that media and um, share my thoughts. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to. All right. So it's captured. Uh, it's captured. I could erase over it and re-record something. But right now I have a 18 second video. I'm going to press add. Doodly do, doodly do, doodly do. It's telling me to wait. It must be working. It's doing some labor. I suspect it's processing and uploading the video as we speak. Better give it a title. Test video. I could write a description, not necessary. I'm going to, I'm more interested in adding it. Now I have a test video right there. And if I was really lucky, I would embed it. But let's see what happens. I'm going to post it. Uh oh, post is required. Okay. So future shock vlog one. test. All right, so I've got that. I have this video. Let's see what that looks like when I post it. Here is my post now. It has come up. I have to make this invisible. People will see it. I'm going to click down. Ah, test video. It's an HTML. That's odd. I thought it was going to embed. Okay, so here is my video. I started recording. Looks like I'm going. So here, I'm here to talk about uh, the latest. All right, so I've created it as an HTML embed video is what has happened. There are other ways to, to go about this. That's simply one, I think, uploading directly to YouTube because it's built to be user-friendly is an excellent option, but there are internal ways that we can create videos um so that that is one i wonder if i wanted to create another type of video response let's see uh i could independently record them and uh, insert them in but really anytime we can use some third party system um it's not as it's not so much scary or alarming as convenient because let's remember, we can always, we can always uh, go back and delete those at the course's end. But also, count on them being private. Uh, so, those are some options, uh, ways. Oh, but here's the, here's the other, perhaps best, let's, I'm looking at, I use this mechanism, the camera looking icon before. Here is the play button. It kind of looks like a, a screen with the arrow on it. Insert stuff. And this might very well be our best option. Add video note. Video note is a video software. Um, so here I go again. All right. Hey, this is my response to my own vlog test. And in this response, I am just noting that uh, I shared information in the form of an HTML video. It actually added more clicks than I probably want my audience to see. And so uh, it's best that uh, I use video note because it's going to be more centrally linked in, require fewer clicks for my audience to check it out. Thank you for listening. Hey, this is my response to my own. All right, so I'm going to click next. I, I don't need to preview that I just, because I just said it. And I'm excited. I hope it embeds directly into the into the uh, the chat box. And if it does, oh, brother, maybe it's not. Test two. Let's see what this looks like. My, my media file currently being transformed. I um, may need to refresh it later. Okay. Well, hopefully it's not too long because uh, it was about 30 seconds worth of media. Currently being transformed. 
You may view this by refreshing moment. We can start a call. View it later. All right, so I'm trusting here that when I click post and when it's finished rendering, it's going to show up as a video. Hopefully that's the case. But because this video demo is running long, I'm really eager <laughs> to click post and have it work. All right, are we gonna just pull the trigger on this? Let's, let's, say, let's take a leap of faith. Ah, excellent. This was successful. We have two internal mechanisms for creating video content, as well as a, a, a very easy way to share video content. And now we're getting in the game of improving our digital communication skills, which is very important to us as uh, uh, students of communication. Hey, this is my response to my own vlog test. And in this response, I am just noting that uh, I shared information in the form of an HTML video. It actually added more clicks than I probably want my audience to see. And so uh, it's best that uh, I use video note because it's going to be more centrally linked in, require fewer clicks for my audience to check it out. Thank you for listening. Yeah, I couldn't just shut myself off. You see what I did there? I gave this a little repetition. We got that message twice, which is important. And now I can click, uh, no, in fact, this is now officially part of the discussion feed. So let's go back and, and see how I, where I landed. Here I am, Future Shock Vlog 1 test. Here's my test video, but in the video post, if I click on the thread itself, we actually see where I successfully embedded a video note, which is probably a go-to mechanism that you all will find very helpful, not only in this class, but in future classes. So appreciate uh, you taking the time to check this out and uh, look forward to having you in class.